Friday. Oh, that's us in there. Brexham, we came in here last night. There was the moon ball that we were after on the wee cove. Now, be honest, like, down that cove's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool spot by all right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> down here is uh, about to have a heart attack. He's looking at the, the Brexham trawlers coming oh, in here. You're waiting for what they call them, the Billy Rooney or Trawler Wars or whatever you call them, Billy isn't it? Ro Billy Rooney. <laughs> uh, That's probably a there. So there was a program made about these guys and the bricks and trawlers and stuff. Uh, Trawler Wars it was called. It was about these guys fishing out in the English Channel. So check it out. Trawler Wars. That's boat starting to move. We're going to go in the different direction to all these guys. Wind's picking up for us nicely. Spots pretty nice, pretty cool. Uh, I like it. We don't have time to be exploring about because we want to get down on the words lands and the Newland, maybe the Sillies to start getting ready to make our passage uh, across the Celtic Sea, uh, which is it will be darned first proper offshore passage in sailing. So, uh, and the Celtic Sea is which is a dodgy place, but we're not there yet. Uh, I'll explain more about the Celtic Sea when we get down. Today we're going to see how, just how far we can get and, and what we can do with tides and wind. Just hopefully it's not like yesterday. Oh, I will get right. Oh, it's a fucking long day yesterday, wasn't it? Don't I get a little bit like a sea there? As you seen in the last videos, it was a bit, it was a bit choppier yesterday. Me and, me and Danger Darn was a bit tired last night. But anyway, we've got a good day. That's us in Brixham. Brixham, sorry we haven't done you any justice, but. Maybe someday I'll be back on the south coast of the UK because it's 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 a nice place. So off we go, Mr. Boyd. That's us, so boy. around by a place called Barry Head. Last night when we were coming around here, I think just at the tail end of one of the videos, you'll see the lights flashing in there. So that's, that's when you know you're coming into Brixham. So there's where Barry Head is, and there's where the harbour is down there. So remember, Barry Head, just stay off it. And when you stay off Barry Head, you'll actually see the red light, the port light for the harbour down there. Very calm conditions, very light wind at the moment, but the wind should pick up. So there's Barry Head, like a Coast Guard watch station up there. Don't know what's wrong with this guy. We have seals up, but we're not getting much speed at the minute. Oh, that's just coming down, down, sort of. This side of the coast is much nicer down here. Uh, very nice indeed. This place, yeah. we're, just, we're just past the rock over here. Known as Cod Rock. So this cod here had got the rod out. <laughs> yes. We're waiting on him getting a fish pie, but uh, by the time he gets a fish pie, I'll probably uh, look like a very thin individual. But just coming down this side, in here, just, just past Cod Rock, we'll have a wee bear. It looks pretty sheltered in that wee bear. I thought that was Torbay Bay, but it's not. Torbay is this next bay. So, I'm thinking this wee anchorage here, if you can get a hook down there, see a sailboat in it. I reckon you could uh, anchor in there and get, get a nice shelter in there. Uh, I don't know what the hole would be like. But there's Torbay Bay. So if anybody's ever anchored in Torbay Bay, you can uh, let me know and, and what you think about what the hope was like. So anyway, off we go. We're starting to get a nice bit of wind now. 11 knots. Running under full seals again. Nice sea. Well, some heavy rain, folks. We also got some wind with that. I reefed there, put first reef in, put the head seal in, it's got the engine going, but 
just got a wind coming right from this headland and I want to be right there just as the tide changes so we only have to run it for half an hour top. But my god, she's in the cabin. But this is the front that we're actually talking about. Yeah, I'm moving through the wet front. And then we're going to get some strong windy weather with it. And we're going well, we're going across the scary bank. <laughs> oh, back deeper, Joe. Alright, that's us, yeah. Headland and all about them we're heading down for Plymouth. And I'll have a boat. Good for your boat side today. And I'll get for your boat side. Uh, just keep this very fancy for anyway. We're fine, we're going to start getting more for a wind. But if you're new to sailing. Four stations, this is Southern Coast Guard. Former Maritime Safety Information Forecast. So, uh, aye, that's what you need to watch when, when you're starting sailing or new to sailing. Just be careful of headlands coming around headlands because winds can't accelerate off headlands. So just, just keep that in mind when you're sailing that you can get wind off headlands. Yeah, right. <laughs> See him carry on as yesterday. Full seal back up again, but we've now reefed again back to the first reef, and I think I'll just keep it like that to get back in again. Much better for the gusts. Uh, so, not really exciting going on. A few boats out doing the same thing. So, you don't see anything else exciting going on out here to show you. So we're, right, we're coming down. We're only all the time I can give you is. Just reef early, it doesn't, you don't necessarily, you won't necessarily slow down, sometimes you'll actually speed up. So, think about it, reef early and it's easier on the boat. Right, just coming down through there, I was a bit bumpy, up in here, Pearl Point. Yeah, bit of shitty water, it, it actually does show you up in the charts as well. So we're coming down this direction, just be wary of that, I would say it would be pretty bad on a bad day. But even down here as far as, I think it's Sultan, this is called. It, it's, it's been a wee bit, a wee bit strange in there too, like. So remember, from Pearl Point, right down to Sulcombe, if you're in close to the shore, it's a bit shitty. So you just be wary of it, check it on the charts, and, and you'll see what I mean. wide open uh, you don't want to go in here in a big boat and not report in because you may just get sank very quickly we anchorage we're going to is just over in the corner uh, it should be protected out of southwesterly wind and should be decent holding because it gives good hard sand once I'm over in I'll give you a look around and I'll tell you the name of the place uh, Doran's had his rod out again and he's still caught sweet oh None. You get here, like. Yeah, it'll be out of the chip shop or something. Alright, that's me and Dangerous Darn here into uh, Kosan Bay. That's the wee anchorage. It's called Kosan Bay. Uh, hard sand. We come in, put the anchor down here. We're anchored in 9 metres, and the anchor's caught within a couple of seconds of pulling it back. So, all's well there. We'll have the dinner on. We had uh, spuds and all done on about half an hour out. We'd get me roasties going. We'll have some pasta and stuff. So this is us in Kosan, Kosan Bay. Sheltered sort of from northwesterly round to southwesterly. i 
from there we're not going ashore because we're moving into morning again which will probably wind on the nose again it's been wind on the nose all day disaster so coffee time and then we get the rest of the dinner man no no long i'll dead darn one that tagging on the nose all day again just thank god the sea wasn't as bad well, that's us. Dinner time, a cup of coffee, and, and chill out. And video editing. Good morning here in Plymouth. It was missed over here this morning. It's all dried off now. Uh, reasonably good holding here, but we never had no wind last night. Until we we'll find out. And there is this little car sand in the morning. Got a paddle board right. We've got Doran short in the anchor chain out. Getting ready to go. Another morning of it, Mr. Boyd. Right. To be ready for action. Just remember, like anything, any morning before you set off, do your checks, look around the boat, check your engine, check the oil, uh, let the engine take over for a while to warm up, get everybody all your charts ready, and away you go. So, see you out there, guys. So I just left the anchor just coming out to head to Falmouth. Uh, I, actually, I actually love the southwest coast of England. Uh, I think it been my most favourite part of, of the UK is the southwest coast. And of course the Silly Isles which you may possibly see later in the videos. You will see some of them in, in previous videos from a couple of years ago. But the southwest corner of the UK, I like it. Still, what I don't like is the marina prices. It's daylight robbery. It's pathetic, and uh, they're just money grabbers. Uh, they're not really out for the sailor. Like, it's just money, money, money. That's all they want. Money, money. Yeah. Uh, so on that, there anchor as much as you fucking possibly can, and, and don't hang around marinas. Don't give them your money. They're a waste of time, and there's nothing special about them. It's just daylight robbery. But apart from that, the southwest coast. Is absolutely stunning. Oh, he likes it, so I do. Oh, he likes it. Right, some bad stuff going on there, Ed. Hey, Dave, Stephanie, this is Farmer's Coast Guard, and uh, you require any further assistance, sir. Um, Rim Head, which is just up here, just has come out of Plymouth, boat with four people on it, taking on water and sinking. There'll be more people on scene before we'd get there. We're seven, we're seven mile away, so time we go back. There's, a, there's other boats up in here that we can see that's closer to us, so we we'll just carry on their passage without any bother saying anything. Or there's more boats up there, uh, and it's close. Maybe, maybe just too too long going up. Game of the best one's going to tow you over. All right, they're going to get a tow in now, so. Fingers crossed to get in safe and to save their boat and they're all safe. Uh, see there's water coming on. Uh, the Coast Guard helicopters now out uh, one way to them. The light boat's also one way to them. Uh, and the Coast Guard's advising them here if they've got too much water coming on board to uh, abandon the ship. The only good thing about today, it's a good day, good visibility and the sea's uh, coming. Thank you. 
everybody out here is just chancing what the weatherman says. And this girl can change. She can change. Where are the guys to spot side? Shipmates, let's not be fooled. I am running the life out of this engine. I'm not tacking this out today. That's two days in a row. Today we go straight to Falmouth in a straight line. Enough's enough. Yeah, straight line, straight into Falmouth. I'm being for tea time. It's stocked up. There's nothing going to be eventful. All I do with a motor is sails up, grabbing whatever wind they can. Still punching a wee bit of tie, but uh, I don't care, we're still 4.4 and 4.2 knots. Uh, just one in here, I'm going to get good shape, good shower, boat cleaned out, and uh, stock up with fresh supplies. The hopper I'm meant to do here in a, in a, in a couple of days, this is it's fucking on and off here. Some of the forecasting is giving us strong, strong winds. To the west of the UK, and this is sort of where we're going and, uh, and a bit further. So it's going to be a case of watching the weather here like a hawk, pushing down as far as it can, getting to where I need to be to make this hop. What I would like, I would like three days good weather to, to do what I'm going to do. Four days, and I'm ripping the outside with being a fussy get Four days good weather, be nice. Calm down before it. Nice two days for what I'm going to do. And then I can two days for after, but that's just ripping the off side. When we get three good days, so I'll be happy. But it's changing all the time we're on there. Oh, oh, George, famous sauce words. Definitely. Anyway, go on. Now that's coming. I'll just show you when we're going into Falmouth or if anything interesting coming up. Uh, out of the Coast Guard, uh, the helicopter and all is out there now, two lifeboats are out. So, the guys are going to be safe no matter what way it goes, so, see what happens with the boat. And the helicopter actually brought them a, a salvage pump out, so, maybe they'll, maybe they'll get her, maybe they'll get her to see if we end the harbour. But, Falmouth, here we come, motor blazing. Sucking diesel. Again, the wind slips back down for northwest of me again, so. We're going to the wind again, but we're actually doing right now. We're doing 5.1, but we can manage to get the speed when the sea's a bit nicer. Not like in the last few days, we're all. We're not sucking diesel anymore. Woohoo! We're just making our approach up into Falmouth. Uh, I can't see any really big dangers coming in here. We're motor sailing at the minute again. Here's the entrance to Falmouth for you. There's Ken Dennis. 
Atlantis. Must be a pretty big, big uh, ship builders here. That's what's coming in anyway, so we've got somewhere to keep up for tonight. We're only here for one night, so. Yeah, some serious fancy boats. There's a boat over here. I'm going to give you a look at it like that. This thing. Uh, this is the weapon. Isn't it the weapon door? And have I? We'll go up here and see the harbour and, and the harbour master and get our dues and stuff paid. First opinion is very posh, you know. You get some strange looks on people when you come in on an old boat that's done some sea miles. Oh Jesus, by God's flux daughter. This is her. <laughs> but anyway, we'll go and get the Jews and stuff paid here. Right, what a boat here. Look at that for a machine. I know what kind of boat that is. It looks like a big Jan J class. So it does. The rig class thing. What an unbelievable piece of kit. Uh, like, look at that thing. Rebecca. It's called Rebecca. Look at the winch is on. Jam folks in here in Falmouth. Uh, certainly, there's a really nice boat in Falmouth, but there's really nice women in Falmouth. <laughs> or else I've been at sea too long. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I haven't actually showed you about Falmouth too much. It is. And we were up town last night quickly getting shopping and stuff so we could head off in the morning. And uh, it's a nice place up there, isn't it? Oh, this is Nicky Town. So we're going to head over to the fuel dock, get fuel, and then we're fully stocked and we're ready to move. As you can see, just because it's starting to get a bit, a bit scruffy looking. Doing a yeah like him. Uh, but, when you're spending all your time at sea, I suppose this is the way she goes. So, that much we can do. So, I'm going to get aboard. Right, that's us leaving. Sunny uh, Falmouth. Beautiful place. You've got Dennis Castle and stuff all up here. Worth explore and it's really nice in around the town. Um, if you're many years ago, Falmouth would have had their parts and smugglers running about. Just over here as we're coming out of the sunny Falmouth, we've got lots of ships over here. Now, I would say because the tide is coming uh, in, we're going to be against tide, and these guys are going to go up through the Bristol Channel and up through by the Sillies. So these are the sort of things that we may possibly meet in the coming days, going past the Sillies through the main shipping lanes. Jan container ships, tankers, all sorts. So anyway, that's enough waffling from me. Uh, I'll show you what we're going to set up in a bit because there's lots of tuna about here. Big tuna out here. Ah, uh, very light winds out here today. These are the sort of things we're going to be start battling when we're coming through the shipping lanes. These sort of ships. Aye, uh, he's not moving. That's why I'm crossing in front of him. I remember you guys at all of these courses and talking about knowing all these rules and running in front of these and who's it right and all this shit. Take a look at that thing. This is up close and personal when he ain't moving. Do not be running in front of these ships. Even if you think you'll just make it by a small margin, do not be running in front of these ships. Pass behind. No ships ever sank by passing behind. It's that simple. Don't be stupid. Right, it's the same old story then as we go along. The wind's on the nose again, west and north, west and northwest. It has to swing around uh, southwest, which I would like to swing around now. Uh, see, see when you're going to windward like this here, there's, there's sometimes you'll have a really good tack going to the wind and it's fast tack, and then you have rubbish tacks where you're really making no ground and it's a bit slower. And this is one of these tacks that we're on now that's actually slower. I don't know if you can actually see the wee dotted line. Well, uh, if you see the wee dotted line, you can see where we're tacking. <laughs> so we're actually on a slow tack now. We're actually only doing 4.2 knots, where before we were doing 5.6, 5.7. Uh, and it's just to keep an eye on it, so we're still going forward, but we're really not making any ground. 
But anyway, I know we're not 10 minutes, we'll throw in an attack and we'll go away on out past the headland and then the next tack down should be for Newland. We got monkey head in the tiller. The amount of tuna is starting to appear, and that's why we've got the rods out with giant lures on them. 50 pound glass rods and 50 pound leg, not really the heaviest for them, but fingers crossed. Oh, we need a tuna. We batter. We batter. But anyway, once you get down into New Lynn, I'm not actually going to show you much about New Lynn because there's no need to in one of my previous videos you would have seen it. Yeah, uh, just as you come down starting to get more exposed to the Atlantic, you know more out into the open Atlantic, the sillies is out this direction, you're starting to get your sort of your Atlantic swell coming in. Yeah, uh, so let's see what happens in uh, the coming days. Eh? Right, just as we're coming down past what's known as the Man of War, this headland to head down for New Lynn. It shows on the chart shitty water on riptides here. Now listen, just be very, very careful of it. Yeah. We've just come through a patch of it there. It's still going now a bit. So be aware of this on a bad day it will fucking 100% eat you up. Stay away from it in the wrong conditions. So remember that, it's over by the Man of War and the headland and the lighthouse as you head down to Newland or the Woods Lands End. So be very, very wary. Like, it's easing off here now. But in there, it's evil water, so be careful if you just look out the side there. It's just starting to ease off again, like. Started to go there, darn, didn't it? Didn't it? And our speeds dramatically went down, like. Then again, the wind's died a bit on us. The amount of war is over in here. But that water's shitty, I'm telling you. Just be very aware of this water. Ah, oh, radio. Uh, that's us into Newland. Uh, uneventful seal down. A pretty good seal actually down. So it was. Uh, so in Newland, I was here about two years ago waiting to do my first ever proper big trip. Uh, it's just amazing to be back here and only this time with a bit more experience. Seen tune hunt stuff for the oh, as well. Seen, seen it, oh, it was so the way I'm gonna end this video, we've been quite busy here because we've been getting diesel and stuff for the boat because tomorrow we have quite a big leg and a bit of bit of open ocean seal. <laughs> so stay tuned and uh, see where we end up. What do you say, Torn? That's it. Adios. 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 Adios.